Warning. Ninja X may trigger extremist groups such as the angry white KKK leftist social justice incels who have small dick energy. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is brought to you by Schooltrashers.com, educating people with the truth, by trashing indoctrination and extremist views since 2005. Welcome to the Ninja X Show. Today's topic, why free speech triggers the left. Before I get into it, there are other topics I would have covered, but I took too long to get it done. So if you had made a request for certain subjects that you wanted me to cover, I've abandoned them because it was a time sensitive topic. Anyways, back to the subject. Since 2020, the censorship on social media has been affecting free speech activists the most. Most of the free speech activists happen to be conservatives or libertarians, so it's not surprising that you'll see them censored on platforms run by leftists. For a time, Jack Dorsey controlled Twitter, and he's certainly a leftist. He banned Donald Trump, and he censored conservatives and libertarians, causing a mass exodus of the platform. So we had Parler, but that website is utterly useless now. So what else was there? There is Gather and True Social. Both platforms are doing very well. In fact, I gained over 20,000 followers recently on Gather. This is because I am allowed free speech on that platform. Plus, Vixie helped me farm some followers while I was working. Both Xanderhal and Bosch are not happy with Elon Musk owning Twitter. They can't rage report or censor conservatives or libertarians on that platform. They call truth hate speech. So basically, anything that goes against their narrative is considered hate speech to them. Heck, even I was falsely accused of spreading hate speech just because I called Democrats groomers. What is a groomer? A woke pedophile activists who are okay with teaching kids about sex. The fact that Elon Musk now owns Twitter allows me the chance to come back to Twitter without having to worry about censorship or having my posts removed. Because you see, I feel it's important for people to read exactly what I said, uncensored and unfiltered. I want people to know the truth. The real reason why the left wants to censor you has nothing to do with hate speech or misinformation. It has everything to do with the truth and not allowing others to hear exactly what you said. Because if you look at Trump's speech in January of 2021, he did not incite violence. Also, there's this meme I'm not allowed to post on Tumblr or Facebook which is an image comparing the actions of the KKK to Antifa and how both groups were created by Democrats. That's the truth that they don't want you to see or hear about. Heck, libs of TikTok was censored just for exposing the crazy things that woke leftist teachers have been spewing. So do you see why censorship is a problem? Do you see why I am a free speech activist? I don't want anybody censored, which includes people I do not agree with. Sean King hates free speech and falsely accuses all conservatives of being white supremacists, while ignoring the fact that conservatives have been the ones constantly fighting against white supremacists. Abraham Lincoln is a conservative who freed the slaves. Democrats, on the other hand, 
created the KKK, a lawless group that rioted, violently attacking people as well as murdering innocent people. Sound familiar? It should because Antifa are doing the exact same thing. Conservatives, on the other hand, has been consistently law abiding citizens. They have consistently condemned riots, violence, and murder. It's very clear that conservatives has consistency. Democrats do not, and that's because Democrats lie and they make up BS claims all the time. It's not that hard to see. And now for the last segment of my web show, which is Social Justice Incel of the Week. Donald J. Trump is now President of the United States. Congrats, Chris Chan. You are today's social justice incel. The fact that you raped your own mother is disgusting. That's all I have to say. Don't forget to share this video. Tune in next time for more truth, logic, and common sense. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.